Hey everybody, Captain V from All Pro. Pretty excited about the season coming, the warmer weather here. At the end of February, going into March is getting me, you know, in my groove. All Pro has got some cool products coming out this year that's going to be in some of the tackle stores, going to be online. I want to talk to, uh, talk to you about them a little bit, go over how we use them. But uh, right now I want to just give a shout out uh, to some of the uh, shows that are still uh, coming up. You got Ward Melville next Saturday, uh, March 7th. You got to get over there. Great show. Probably the largest table show in the, the Northeast. I'm calling the Northeast. Probably the largest. They got everything there. Absolutely everything from freshwater, surf casting, offshore. Um, they, everyone's excited. Some of the best fishermen are on the planet are going to be there. So you get a moment, you know, Google Ward Melville Fishing Show. You'll find them. The, all the information will be there on the fishermen. I'm sure we'll have that information. Get out there. I think two weeks later after that, a Sunday, I'm going to say March 22nd is the uh, the last, I think, of the fishing shows here on Long Island. That's the uh, that Patchogue uh, show. Another uh, show that's been around for a long time. Uh, it's well organized. They do a nice job over there. It's over at the St. Joseph College. So check that one out. So I know we got one this weekend. Um, not this weekend. Uh, the following weekend, which is March uh, 7th. And I think we've got the other ones on March 22nd. Um, this weekend, you got the AC Boat Show down in Atlantic City. That's where I'm, I'll be. I'm heading out there in about an hour or so. I'm going to head down there. Uh, you got the Suffern Show uh, up in Rockland County. I've never been there. I want to get there, but I just, I just not going to have time to get there. Um, so that's another really, you know, over the top uh, great show. Um, this is another show I thought I'm just forgetting about. No, that's it. Oh, I was at the Philly show last weekend. Uh, I went down to Oaks, uh, Pennsylvania. Not far. It's a, I'm from Long Island. It was real. I don't know, two and a half hours. It was. It was great. Uh, that is going to be like a premiere show. What a great job they did. The vendors were really good. You could just see it. It's just you know, it's just ready to pop. Uh, I think it's in its second year. Uh, that show is going to rock and roll, man. You give that a couple of years, it's going to be the premiere show. Uh, good luck to them. Great job. Uh, I absolutely loved it. Um, what does All Pro have this year? Well, we've got the Slayer Spoon. That's right, the Slayer Spoon. I want to talk a little bit about it and how you're going to use it. Uh, the Slayer Spoon is a weighted flutter spoon. Uh, what's real nice about this spoon is that you could fish it several different ways it's on uh, it, we have it right now in a one ounce and a three ounce comes in seven different colors uh we'll talk about that in a moment but i just want to talk about the makeup of the product first so this is the three ounce this is our bubblegum swirl uh it's a pink and white uh the connector on the nose the connector on the nose is kind of the key to this uh setup right here uh this allows you to fish this multiple different ways one is if you're a surf caster you could cast it out and retrieve it in. If the connector was on top, you'd be retrieving it this way, right? Crooked, right? Uh, but because it's on the nose, when you're retrieving it, it's coming in through your water column like this. And the, the flutter spoon will flutter uh, behind it and move behind it. Um, so that allows a surf caster or someone from a dock or a pier, you know, um, from uh, land, rocks, wherever it may be, uh, to fish just by casting it. Uh, if you're on a boat, you have multiple options. A, you could cast it. Uh, you want to get into like a 20-foot water column. You could cast it, let it drop down a little bit, and then, you know, fish it just like a jerk bait of some kind um, or another type of uh, floating lure or hard bait. You could fish it just like that. Uh, you kind of jerk it. If you uh, uh, want to jig it like a, uh, like almost like a diamond jig, right, or a... Um, or like one of our wang jigs, you could drop it down, pull it, drop it down, jerk it, drop it down, jerk it, bounce it off the bottom. Uh, and again, the uh, presentation of this, the action, uh, the way this attracts uh, species, uh, it's just phenomenal. Uh, and we've had a lot of success doing that, especially like on sea bass. You know, uh, it's amazing on, on, on how they'll hit this. Um, the other way uh, that you could do is kind of a little bit more traditional, like a bucktail. Um, you could fish it alone, or you could fish it like with a, a high-low, um, 
like a chicken rig or a, like a drop loop above or a three way above that. Uh, you can fish that with this on the bottom or if you're going to go with the if it's heavier currents, you could go with the, here's the one ounce, you can put the one ounce on top or uh, something heavier on the bottom. Um, what's real nice about these is that they're fully silicone skirted. They don't get beat up. Um, they are also, let me pull back some of the skirt here. Maybe you, you can see this because um, we really try to do a good job with this here. We use stainless steel wire. We don't give it like one or two wraps. I mean, it's wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped where these uh, just are not coming out. Uh, it's real solid. We use stainless steel. Uh, this way you don't have that wear and tear of uh, string over time and they'll stay in there for, for quite some time. So it's a, uh, it's a nice, good quality uh, head on it. Uh, now we have the, the flutter spoon. Uh, we throw a little sticker eye on there. You know, I don't think that really does too much, but you know, it's a uh, something to attract at least the fishermen, right? Uh, and I want to go down to here, which is important because uh, I was a little stickler about this. We have a um, you know a feathered um, or a deer hair uh, hook uh, here, but we actually have these hooks made for us. Uh, these are an offset black nickel ultra sharp hook with a nice solid uh, wire gauge, but more importantly, we have them as bait holders. So it's tough to see on camera here. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, uh, but there's like little notches here. Uh, this allows you to use some strip bait, either uh, some squid. Uh, last year we put, uh, we were fishing, it was just killing them uh, with some sand deal on here. Um, you can fish them alone as well. Uh, you can also put your gulp on there or some other soft uh, plastics like our stink. Uh, we're coming out with our new uh, um, ultra, um, uh, ultra stink or ultra rattler this year uh, plastic. So that's something that you can put on there as well. Um, right now they come in a three ounce and they come in a one ounce. The one ounce, again, you could use that connects up on top. You're using it in skinny water in the bay over some shoals, a sandbar, stuff like that. You could cast and retrieve from your boat. You could use it from shore. Um, you, again, you put some, some um, um, squid on there. Um, it's just really, really good. Uh, last year, we also used some fat cow that uh, worked really well on these as uh, well. Matter of fact, when we were testing them out last year, um, the first few fish that we caught were all striped bass. We were fishing for fluke and the, and the bass just went down and grabbed them. Um, and then we got on to like the fluking grounds and then it was just all about the fluke. So um, in these waters up here, which is the northeast of Long Island, the south shore, our main species are fluke and striped bass. Uh, but we've sent this down south to be tested and they've caught a multiple species of them uh, down south. Anything that would hit a a bucktail well this just increased the uh, the bites uh, because of their profile the, the way it attracts uh, and the extra movement that you get um, from something like this so what's nice about this right now is that it does come in the three ounce it comes in the one ounce um, we have it in um, we have it in what we call sunfire it's like a chartreuse and orange we have it in a sun pepper that's your chartreuse and white we have it in lightning white. If you notice, on all of ours, what we'll do is uh, we put a little sparkle on the head. Uh, just something else that could just maybe, you know, attract uh, a fish or a fisherman uh, to it. And um, so that's a telltale sign. You got a, uh, an original Slayer. You'll see those, uh, those sparkles on top. So this is your lightning white. Here's your sea robin orange, a pretty popular color here in the Northeast the last couple of years. Um, we have a uh, the watermelon, uh, also known as nuclear chicken. And then we have glow, which is real big in Jersey. Uh, real big in Jersey, the glow. You can tell the glow, it has a translucent skirt on it. This thing lights up like a flashlight. So this is the uh, all Pro Slayer Spoon. I know they have them at uh, Trophy Tackle. They have them at Pelagic. I know uh, tackle shops across Long Island and New Jersey and several tackle shops in Rhode Island all have sample package of these. Go in there, check them out. Um, pick up a few there. They're also available at allprotacklebox.com. But if you're an impulse buyer like me, visit your tackle stores. I mean, not 
is it only important to visit them for the product and you know really for your impulse buy just go there pick it you don't have to wait for it to be mailed to you or anything like that but these guys got so much knowledge you know they know about the products they know about the terminal tackle that you should use with the products what works best they know where the fish are i mean they're great so support your tackle stores and uh, get down there and, and, and check them out there. Uh, if your tackle store isn't carrying them, ask them to carry them. Uh, or you can always go to allprotacklebox.com. Uh, we'll have them available. Uh, what kind of goes with this and we'll kind of lead into that right now is our brand new Reaper teaser. Uh, the Reaper teaser uh, was designed by um, Geezer Teaser. Uh, Vincent Fallon, uh, one of the best teaser makers out there. Uh, we commissioned him to uh, come up with four color schemes for us to develop uh, the, um, the uh, Reaper. Uh, we wanted a, a large, serious, high quality uh, teaser that we haven't really been seeing on the market. We also want to do something different with it, uh, which we have, I'm gonna show you in a moment. So this is the Reaper teaser. It comes in um, four colors. Uh, this one here is the uh, pink and white, which is our bubble gum. Here's our watermelon, which is kind of your nuclear chicken. We have lightning white, which is here. And we have what we call our uh, sun pepper, which is your chartreuse. Um, what's really nice about these, uh, again, it's not a cheap or inexpensive, like something that's going to fall apart. Matter of fact, you go online, we warranty these for life. Uh, so you go online, you read about the warranty on there. I mean, who, who guarantees their products for life? Uh, All Pro does because we're pretty confident in the quality of these uh, that they're going to hold up year after year after year. Um, these are made with the same hook as our Slayer Spoons. Again, we have these hooks made. It's a, a very uh, solid gauge wire. We have them offset and these are bay holders which is real interesting because on teasers you normally don't see it, but here if you want to run a little piece of strip uh, bait off of it, you want to put a little fat cow on there, um, you can do that with these, which is really nice. Um, we use big, big nine millimeter eyes. So this way, you know, it's, again, it's all about profile uh, in, in the water there. Um, you can fish this on your drop loop. You fish this on a three way, but I've got another little secret for you on how to fish these which had been pretty effective during uh, during last summer when we were testing these out. And that is in the back bay uh, when we were fishing for weak fish um, and also um, uh, fluke uh, in the shallows. Uh, what we would do is that we would actually put this on a very light, you know, 3000, 2500 series spinning uh, setup and uh, flip these out. And they don't float, but they, uh, they sink, but they don't drop. So they'll flutter down really slow in the water column. And then you could kind of jerk it and give it like a, almost act like a jerk bait with it. It's really light fishing. So you really want to don't, you don't want to use anything more than like uh, 10 pounds um, uh, braid on something like this. I can go with eight, eight pound braid myself. Um, and it works really, really good. The other thing that we recommend, and we'll actually play into another product that we're going to uh, talk about, is you put a uh, buckshot. You know, um, about 24 inches or so up on the leader gives you a little bit more weight so you could cast it out, but it still allows this to flutter and have that action, you know, that unrestricted action. That's what you're looking for. Um, so uh, you want to try it that way too. The weak fish crushed it last year. Um, they just, you know what, they crushed everything. Uh, they were on the chartreuse, they were on the pink, they were on the white. Um, so, uh, Look for these. These are the uh, the Reapers. They're not a super expensive uh, teaser, and they'll hold up year after year for you. Again, these uh, work with the um, the Slayer spoons. You can put them on a drop loop. You can put them on a three way and fish them in deeper water back here, right? And let them um, work back there. Um, so. Uh, look for those again, not crazy expensive. You look at prices all over the place like oh my god These not we're trying to make them as reasonable as possible again They'll be at your tackle shops go in there uh, Look for them there if they're not there you could always contact us or tell the tackle shop to reach out to us We'll get them over to them um, No problem at all 
We have a closeouts on our uh, Slayers. We have the new Slayers coming out. I think uh, probably mid-May, the new Slayer. Like, I'm not going to talk about what's so crazy good about them. Uh, we're going to have that as a little bit of a surprise. Um, but the closeout, these are 2019s. Uh, we have put them in bundle packages. We're not selling them individually because we kind of just want to move them out. So we really discounted them online. They're not available anywhere else except online. Um, so this is the three eighths uh, of an ounce. Uh, this is the uh, three ounce. Uh, we also have one ounce available. So go online, allprotacklebox.com. Look for those bundle packages. Uh, you're getting these, I think, for like three, four dollars, um, and that includes shipping. Again, all pro. We, we never charge for shipping. We just throw it in there. Uh, of course, one of our more popular uh, lures that we sell that we've already sold out. I mean, where are we? We're March 28th. We already sold out of this, and we had to, you know, bring in new stock. So it's crazy. Is our uh, Wang Jig? Um, it kind of has a cult following now. Uh, anybody who knows anything about uh, catching fish has been fishing the Wang Jig. It kind of went a little viral on a couple of social media sites. Um, uh, Mark Gary, uh, Kitco Cheese, he used it uh, for squidding, and the bass just absolutely crushed it. I use it more of a traditional uh, jig. I drop it down 10 feet, give it a good hard you know, dro uh, jig, drop it down until you get to the bottom and bounce it a few times. I have a, a video online you can look through if you subscribe. Um, you'll, um, you'll see that. Uh, a big trick, even if you're not using this, a big trick is to make sure you get on some of our custom made assist hooks. They're not crazy expensive when you look into the market of assist hooks. You buy assist hooks, they'll be like $9, $8. It's crazy. Um, these are high quality, good quality uh, assist hooks. They have 250 pound um, braid on them. Um, they come in size 7 0, which I recommend for 90% of your fish. Uh, we do have the 9 0s available. Um, the 9 uh, 9 0s would be more for your, your large bass, uh, bigger. Bigger jigs, your tuna, um, you would go with that, with the 9 -0. Um, Although, I be honest with you, we caught tuna on the 7-0. So, uh, either way, these are available. They're in stock. Uh, we only have them at allprotacklebox.com. We haven't distributed them out to the tackle shops uh, yet. Um, so, these are in-house. Um, again, shipping is free on these, so take advantage of that. Um, also... We got kind of back into the market of, we got out of um, making shads, um, but a couple of captains requested that we make um, this chartreuse and white shad for them for this year. So, um, because uh, again, we try to be here for the fishing community, they wanted it, uh, so we made it. These are our rattler uh, paddlers, or pa right, rattler paddlers, and um, What's nice about these is that we have rattles in the uh, tail, but we have the rattles in on a horizontal way like this. A lot of the other companies uh, that actually do go through the trouble of putting rattles in them, they put them in vertical. Uh, but your tail, when it's in the water, goes this way. So if you have your, your rattle in horizontal, those BBs will be able to go back and forth and make a lot more noise than if they're vertical. So we have them all uh, in on a horizontal insertion in, um, in the back of the tail. Uh, so like Nick Savine, um, he requested these. So we said, you know what, let's just you know, make a limited uh, number of these and provide these. So you're gonna find these right now on allprotacklebox.com, but they'll be in the stores as well. Uh, while we were making this, uh, we were testing colors out last year. Uh, we weren't really looking to add anything because, again, there's so many guys that make this stuff. I mean, a mold is relatively common. There's so many guys, um, and, you know, and they're good. Uh, but we were playing around, fooling around, and in the morning, when we were fishing morning or at night, it's like we were getting crushed on this one color combo that we put together, this red and chartreuse. I mean, we got crushed on this. Um, again, uh if your water isn't really all that clear, uh, if you have a cloudy or overcast day, if you're fishing the, the sunrise, if you're fishing the sunset, 
Uh, you get your mojo, uh, either your chartreuse, your white. I even see we fish this on a black mojo. It crushed them. It was like almost like we were laughing because we were fishing this as well as some other colors. And this was the only thing that was getting hit, this color. Uh, so I, I was a believer that it has to do something with color. So uh, we have went to production and we made these. I don't know of another company that makes this pattern. I'm sure after this video, there'll be a hundred companies that make this pattern, but uh, it works. Give them a try. Again, they're real reasonable. We don't charge for shipping. They will be in tackle stores probably in the next, I'm gonna say six weeks. So you wanna support your tackle stores. Super important to do that. These guys know everything there is about fishing. Uh, you could touch and feel and look at the product before you make your, your, your commitment. Also, they know where the fish is, where the bite is. So you got to support your local tackle stores. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about, uh, because again, uh, it's out of need. Um, you know, I'm fishing 300, 400 hours a season. Um, so uh, I run into certain needs. And um, last year, I have so many split ring pliers and pliers and stuff like that. Uh, I got pliers from, you know, the $10 range all the way up to the $150 range. I didn't pay $150. They were given to me as a gift, but, and they're beautiful, like, split ring pliers, beautiful, but $150 to me for pliers is like, it's a little crazy, okay? But, uh, so I reached out to um, our manufacturer and I told them what I was looking for, and they came up with a nice, simple, uh, inexpensive uh, split ring plier for me to use. And I used it, and it was really good. And I'm like, you know what? Let's make these and I'll uh, put them up for sale. We'll sell some. Um, so let's talk about it real quick. What I, what I like about these. Uh, what I like about them is the, is the thin profile and the long nose on them. Okay, so this allows me uh, to quickly just, if I have to get a hook out of a, uh, out of a fish, I can easily go in there and, and grab it if it's set back a little bit. You know, it's real nice to do that. Uh, it has a split, uh, a split ring for the small split rings. Uh, I'm not recommending to use this on your terminal tackle for tuner and stuff like that, but uh, we use a lot of split rings because so it gives a lot of movement. Uh, so it's real easy to, you know, use it on the smaller split rings here. So we have a split ring. Um, also has your line cutter, your braid cutter here. Uh, I mentioned before how we use buckshot. Okay, you know, he's biting the buckshot down, you know, to clamp it, you know, or crimp it up on that line. Well, this has a, uh, a buckshot clip right here. That's this one here with that little bump. That's what that's for. You're going to use your, on the buckshot. Also here, you'll see this is the first little hole here. Just so people understand what these things are for here. That first little gap there, uh, that is for crimping like your uh, 0.8 millimeter uh, aluminum crimps. Um, we're using 50 pound test, 60 pound, I think even maybe up to 80, but uh, we usually use it on 50 pound tests, uh, uh, 50 pound floral or 50 pound, pound mono. Uh, we'll use a crimp uh, when, when needed. Um, and um, this will crimp it. So it's really super that it does that. Also, it's kind of nice about this is as you see, it opens up automatically in your hands, pretty solid. It's a rust resistant um, coated uh, steel. So it's not something that will rust if you forget it and you leave it overnight somewhere. Uh, you can just wipe it down, clean it. What's also nice about this one here is that it's a multi-purpose um, hand tool. So you've got yourself a little bit of a uh, kind of a very, it's really sharp too. A um, little sword blade there. You got yourself a little knife there. Uh, so it really is everything in one little package. What's nice about this is that this is this sells for less than I think eight dollars um, I think it's gonna I think it mark up I'll have to check online what they're marking it at but I think we're probably in the area of like 750 or 699 something like that so check these out they also come with a nice little sheath so uh, I mean the sheath alone is probably worth you know a buck and a half two dollars right so uh, that's real nice um, you can put it on a uh, clip um, also on your belt this way so uh, it works really well so this is Captain V. Take advantage of those fishing shows coming up. If you have any questions for me, anything at all, you hit me up at Vince at AllProNational.com or Vince at AllProCharters.com. Also want to mention everybody who's hitting us up for charters. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been crazy. It's, it's been really just overwhelming on uh, how many charters that, that uh, have been booked. 
uh, leading up to the season. We're still, uh, I don't think we're, we're not even offering charges to May 15th. And uh, I already believe uh, probably May and part of June is already sold out. So uh, I really appreciate that. Um, uh, let's see, anything else? Nope, I think we are good. This is Captain V. I am glad that you spent some time with me. I will see you on the water. If you need anything, you hit me up. Captain V signing out.